All right, all is Steven Fuxa, and it is time to look into playing a new character. So, um, we're currently, I'm still currently going to it pretty well with the Mountain Dwarf Earth Elementus, but uh, if anyone's been following along with that series, you'll notice that I'm getting really ticked off with um, just the constant, uh, I play, it lags, I play, it lags, I play, it lags. And I've just had enough of that, and I just want to get away from that for a little bit before I go back to it. So, I was thinking, you know, why not jump back into, uh, this regular old character that I've been starring and killing and getting starring and getting killed and all that. And we'll see how far I can go with them. Uh, I'll get back to Mount Dorf eventually, but it's just annoying. Now, we're going to go with the Demigod, uh, Wanderer, if you didn't notice there. It's basically, um, well, let's just get into it. I'll explain them as I go into it. Dungeon Crawl, Demigod. So Demigods, and they will never follow God, but Demigods make up for this with their divine attributes and health. They're basically offspring of both, both the um, uh, heavily arcane and all that, and just the regular normal stuff like orcs and humans and all that. And uh, they will, uh, they basically have restrictions that they can't be Berserkers, Bizzle Knights, Chaos Knights, Death Knights, Priests, or Healers, because those all follow Gods. But other than that, they can... Um, they're well suited to being spellcasters, and to perform well as just, you no know, godless atheists and all that. Uh, so typically, I'll just get into it in a bit, but um, we're uh, going to go with Wander, and um, I'll explain that too, you know, we'll just jump it. So, will I fail uh, where I fail, blah, 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 and um, let's just, you know, quickly uh, look over things. Demigods, as you can see, they have very, you know, very high strength int and dex. Uh, I'll actually go into the crawl wiki just to show it off, but um, basically how it works, they get increased attributes, and um, it comes at a cost of not being able to worship a god or having very good aptitudes in anything. They're actually really, really poor at uh, raising skills. So let's go here, species. And demigod. I'll actually go here in a moment. And we'll just uh, go to wander. So demigods, they're uh, mortals, blah, 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 with some divine or angelic ancestry. How are distant. Uh, they look more or less like members of a mortal race, but they have excellent attributes and are extremely robust. And they can draw on greater supply of magic points, but it's all it comes at downside of getting very slow experience. And it gains slow skills a whole lot uh, less quickly. So you look down here, it's like pfft, all real bad. They have really high experience to gain. But they make up for it with having 10% more HP, 20% more MP. They gain a random stat every even level. So every two levels they get a, they get a int uh, strength or dexterity point. And on top of that, they um, get an actual four mastery resistance per level. So they make up for it, you know, with, with their attributes. And that's why they're good spellcasters. Um, Wanders are, uh, basically a jack-of-all-trades, massive nun who has tried multiple professions without devoting himself to a particular dis discipline. To the Wanderer's starting for usually relate to his starting skills, so, we're looking here, he's, you know, he's got some bread, that's like, everyone starts off with that, he's got a robe, he's got mace, and he's got a book, so, in his previous life, he was apparently good at translocations, he had done a little stealth, he tried armor a little bit, you try throwing a little bit, and you know, that's just how it works. He's just, you know, he uh, leveled in a few different skills, and this is what he came out with. Uh, if you look at um, a little bit before, I think somewhere it says he, it's like some fool who someone ended up in a dungeon. Anyhow, starting with, uh, with one or two ram weapons, way towards those they have good aptitudes for. They can be enchanted up to plus three, so is this enchanted up to plus three? No. Um, blah, blah, blah. They have various miscellaneous items, some has a ram starting level spellbook. Even though you may not start with one, scroll of teleportation is re recognized as default along with any other items you're carrying. You will always also sometimes start with a level one spell memorized, though it may not have any relation to the races aptitudes or your starting spell if you have one. So they have a starting. Uh, I don't know any spells, so I didn't learn anything yet. And um, the class starts with stat modifies. You know, but it's randomized. They could be anything. So. Uh, you know, you'll still have, like, on average, whatever 
the races, but other than that, it's just ra um, random. Science skills, you may receive 1 to 5 levels in a weapon skill of your default weapon, and always. Fighting armor, unknown karmic, dodging, stealth traps, invocations, and spellcasting, various other scores of magic, and not necessarily relevant to starting spell work or memorize what spell you may have. So, that's just a quick overview of what the Wanderer is. It's basically a random draw character, so I'm actually going to do something quick just to demonstrate it. We're going to get, we're just actually going to exit the dungeon, which will cause me to lose the game, but whatever. And I'm going to make another demigod wanderer. And this time we start off with uh, a plus two, plus two spear, a uh, plus one, or plus zero, plus zero dagger, robe, bread. Uh, we have uh, no spells again. And this time we have a little bit of fighting. We have pole arms, we have bows. Even though I don't have a bow, I have stealth, I have stabbing, and I have evocations. So you know, just a little bit about what they do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's uh, show all. And um, that's pretty much it. They basically, you know, are randomized. They could have anything good, they could have anything bad. And uh, you really don't have any control. In this time, I got a lot of strength and a little, little less int. I'll do it one more time just because, you know, just to show it off one more time. Demigod, Wanderer. This time I started with armor, a hand axe, and a mace. I started off with some axes and some maces and flails. I have some throwing, some armor, and I have some traps and doors. This is probably actually the worst start of all the characters, but whatever. Um... Well, whatever. Well, it is going to be worse, so I'm going to try and make myself at least somewhat doable. I'm not exactly skilled with demigods or wonders, so... Let's see, try and start, you know, better armor or something like this. And this one, he didn't even start with a weapon skill, but he started with lots of fighting. Uh, long... And he uh, has armor and stealth, so... He's really geared toward being a good armor character, but nothing really much else. And, uh, no spells. You know, let's just start. I've, you know, I'm going on and on and on. And I could, I could keep restarting until I find something good, but that kind of he's the purpose of being a wanderer. You go with what you get, and then you go, you know, you get what you get. Turn this off, turn this off. Uh, we'll keep those on. Turn this off, turn this off. He's only spellcasting on. And we'll just collect this. There's lots of stuff here. That's going to help my uh, character quite a bit. There's a guy. Let's uh, put on the ring, even though I don't know what it does. It's a shiny silver ring, which I have no idea what it does even still. At least identify teleport scrolls for me, so I don't know what those do. Um, let's throw a spear at him. Charge him. Come on, die. Die. He died. Oh, there's a bat. Darts of frost, that could be useful. Right, I have to... I'm so used to playing on web tiles again. And can't eat anything because I'm not hungry enough. Let's go over here. Now, my armor is actually really good here because even though uh, demigods aren't you know, great fighters, uh, this you know this little bit of armor is helping quite a bit. Nothing can really harm me a lot. Well, I can you know this sort of wail on them with fighting, and eventually better stuff like this. Put this on. It's an cursed uh, short sword. Getting lots of potions. There's a mace, and in this case, I can pick up the mace, and there's a Nemec altar. That could be useful. Uncursed mace, we'll drop the short sword. And net. We'll pick up the net, I'll get these cards. Uh, these javelins. I could worship Nemec, and I suppose I didn't really show it off very well, but uh, do I really want to? Alright, I can't because I'm a demigod. Demigods can't worship gods. I feel clever, so ran, even level increase. I got a stat randomly. I got myself 
um, one input in, in, uh, intelligence there, so I got more intelligence. And we're going to butcher this. And there's a bunch of stuff there. There's a large shield. Kill this, kill this. And you know, um, I just got myself armor free, so I'm pretty happy about that. Let's turn it off for now. Turn off Mason Flails so they don't want that going on just yet. Pick up the shield. I'm actually going to equip the shield. Just because uh, I've yet to really play a shield yet. And uh, it'd be fun, fun to see just how much, you know, protection having a shield gives me. It's going to give me a massive evasion penalty, but it should up my ability to block and other stuff. So just looking at the shield. It's a large shield. And um, I found a level 1. And without a great deal of uh, training, greatly still the rate at which the warrior attacks. So that's not going to be too good. I actually don't really want this, do I? But whatever, we'll keep it on. I'll turn uh, shields on to high, and we'll focus on just using a shield. There's a ruined dagger, ring mail, darts. Keep exploring. Throw this at it. Butcher this. Bink, 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 bink. I may hit slow, but I'll make up for it with uh, the ability to... Um... Oh, nice. A plus two uh, uh, elven hat. I'll make up with the ability to block stuff, basically. What this is good for, this shield. Get this. That's the scenario scroll I had before. Curing. Oh, cool. Curing's actually identified for me. That's a real plus. Uh, here's another mace. Look at these darts. Done exploring. I'm going to go here. And I'll throw it at this guy. So yeah, he's here. You block the giant nits attack. You know, as stuff hits me. But I've got the, both the shield and the skill armor preventing me from healing stuff, so that's like, you know, a bit of the problem with uh, having armor and shields. You sometimes have to train, you really have to train up your armor before it gets good. And uh, at free, it's not good enough to really outdo the uh, penalty. But, you know, it's providing lots of uh, general damage reduction and everything else, so that's good. Alright, I'm going to start reading stuff here, so I want to find out what I have. And we're going to do this one, and it's uh, something I have no clue what it does. And this could be Identify Scroll. Please be Identify Scroll. Nice, Sustain Abilities. And let's identify... I don't know. Let's go after this dagger. That's a Venom Dagger. Oh, that's really nice. I'm going to put that on. Drop the mace. And uh, we'll drop this, this, this. Pick this up, drop it here. Okay, now we're going to read the other scrolls. This is uh, Smoke. Is a scroll of fog. And F, Magic Mapping. Wanders are not suggested as a race that you should try just because this, this um, stats are randomized, but they're actually really strong if um, you get a really good set of uh, um, you know, equipment or starting stuff to uh, go with your character. There's a worm. We're going to back off from it, and we're actually going to like it close to the end, so I can poison it. And, you know, it'll get poisoned and die. There's shields going up. And I'm finally getting hungry, which, you know, happens. And I'm actually going to read, uh, what? We're not going to read anything. We're going to quaff stuff soon. But I want to level first, so I have more HP for that. There's some plate mail. I'll take that. You know, uh, having good armor on top of uh, better armor, or better armor on top of good armor is just like he heavenly. So we'll put this on. Yoink. Alright, so low strength makes this armor more difficult to uh, use, so that's a problem with um, not having high enough uh, strength. Uh, I haven't gotten into this yet, but you'll see uh, the um, evasion penalty, or ev base evasion modifier is negative 3. 
you need to have three times this number for your character to avoid the uh, strength increments. So this has a negative six. That means I need to have 18 strength, I believe, in order to uh, beat the uh, pro you know, problems of having uh, um, the uh, negative effects of having, you know, uh, that armor. It's still, still going to be powerful armor, but I have to um, focus on getting my... Uh, Level 3, awesome, and pull up strength. I have to basically focus on getting my uh, stats higher for it to be worth uh, wielding at all. That's what I'm basically getting at. And we're going to go here, we're going to drop this. I now have more HP, but I want to get higher just in case I get poisoned. Even though I have curing, I don't want to waste it. I can still be poisoned. And if you saw my episode with, uh, well, you didn't see it, but. I was playing an ogre recently, and pretty much uh, the only thing that kept me alive was the fact that I had a curing potion when an adder poisoned me. And a bunch of stuff here. we we'll back off. This is perfect. Came like this, this, this. Uh, I don't really need those. I'm getting enough throwing weapons. I got javelins. I got a spear. There's the bolts, bolts of flames of that. I'm actually gonna pick up these arrows. I don't have, I haven't found a a bow or a crossbow yet. But if I do, I might. Well, if I'm gonna train shields, I really shouldn't bother with uh, uh, picking up those slingshots. You know, they, I can use slings of shields easily enough, but bows and crossbows don't work well with shields. There's another uh, plate armor. Um, it's kind of a risk to keep, keep putting this stuff on because I might get stuck with it. But, yeah, it's just, you know. Uh, eat this. And, let's see here. Let's keep going on. And before I keep going like this, I should try and, uh, make use of, um, Oh, I killed them all. Okay, I should try and make use of these cars before I, you know, run into a situation where I don't know what they do, and it's more of a risk taking them and using them. And let's go. This there's more stuff in here. There's a guy wielding whip. Jackal barks. I'm in a net. Let's uh, hit this guy. We'll throw. And here, just a normal whip. That's fine. Fog. By the way, have I mentioned how much I love the fact that I'm not lagging? It's like heavenly not having to worry about what when my action is going to occur. Okay, here's a goblin. Let's uh, use the cards on him. So we're going to... Uh, apparently draw and pr get pull out, um, Zulu de Tengu. It's mercenary. I can't afford. Okay, that was not good. Um, I just got an extremely dangerous, uh, mercenary that's going to kill my, myself. Must just kill me. He's basically a, uh, mercenary, and mercenaries were... Um, added recently. How they work is that uh, where would the card be? Deck of changes, deck of war. Let's just go through these decks and I'll figure out where the card is. Deck of battle, deck of war. I'll do it. Deck of battle. So, so um, here you see uh, mercenary card. Offers a mercenary for a fee. If you do not purchase the ally, it will be created hostile. It is a durable sum, which means that it is worth no experience, can be a jerk, can't time out, and doesn't leave any equipment behind. There's a list of possible mercenaries. So, I summoned a Tengu. 
and uh, he's going to be really dangerous. A high ca uh, car power increases the chance of getting a stronger mercenary. So you can get quite a few mercenaries here. You can get Big Kobold, a Tengu, a Deep Dwarf, Scion. Uh, what the? And there's like Central Warrior, Spring Rider, Organ Mage, Minotaur, Deep Elf, Blade Master. And they're all pretty powerful. It was added in point eleven, and how it works is uh it's like a nice little uh summon to help you out. I'm gonna do this right away. And make myself, you know, run away. And I'm gonna move away. And boom. So now I've got myself a really, really dangerous uh you know, mercenary that doesn't isn't worth experience. Yeah. And anyway, Detour Sign are well armed foot soldiers, boasting no special abilities, but often carry excellent gear. Like all Deep Wars, they don't regenerate any health. Um, do you guys rank at least among your warriors facing a back of wars? Okay, so it's just, you know, an annoying, annoying little thing. Anyways, these guys are up here. I don't want to be dealing with that guy. I'm just going to immediately run away, I think. So we'll go to this staircase. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go down to here. We're gonna quickly do uh, that, and I got vitrification. This is a plain deck of changes, so um, plain deck of changes. So this is this one again, this uh, deck, and it's dangerous just because I don't have the gold for mercenary if I, that happens again. But uh, it could be beneficial to use this later on in the dungeon when I, uh, you know, possibly won't get myself killed from it, and. Uh, We'll put this back on. I'm gonna kill you. And we're gonna go back to this staircase. Now, the reason I want to post those staircases is because now I know which staircase will lead up near the Tengu. And I don't have to go up that one. Like we're gonna quickly do this. That was a scroll of cursed armor, so now my help my hat is cursed to me, which is fine. I don't really care about that. Drop this. And we will keep going. I don't have enough uh HP to really survive uh poison yet, so we'll just uh, try not to get poison yet. I'm going to eat this. Keep going. Okay, so there's a staircase up that, you know, I don't know where it goes. Or, I know where it goes, and it's going to be bad, so get rid of it. We're going to get this, and I'm going to put this on. Should I? No, I have identified scrolls. I really should use them. Right after I uh, get some more stuff to identify. I'm not going to identify just one thing. Ooh, nice. Gauntlets. It's a very good pair of gloves. And... That actually would have been something to identify, but I didn't. There's an adder. That's dangerous. But we can throw this at. This at. This at. Poison it. I actually blocked the adder's attacks there, so it couldn't hurt me. That's just awesome. You know, this shows you a little bit about what blocking can do. People seem to, you know, say shields suck because, you know, they kind of do suck. But they are strong if you, you know how to use them right. I'm not going to worry about the whip. Um, it could be something beneficial, but generally, unless they hit me, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. I'm not going to waste time trying to figure out if it's something good or not. And... I want to throw, 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 kill, and he died just from poison. You know what, I should actually pick this up, just because I can wield the whip and find out if it's anything good. I'm sure the cobalt wasn't cursed to it. And we'll pick it up, I'll put it on, and that's an uncursed whip of venom. So you know, it's just another mace that I could use. And this gives me 6 accuracy, 4 damage. This gives me 2 accuracy, 6 damage. This is obviously better. So I'm actually going to keep the Whip of Venom. Reach level 4. I feel clever. I'll take that. Throw this at, throw this at, throw this at. Poison it. I'm getting really lucky with, you know, going through this dungeon of a wanderer of all things. I should be dead. No, no uh, offense myself, but I should be dead. Okay, this could be enchant uh, armor, or it could be something else. 
I'm going to assume that it is uh, enchant armor, so we'll hit the shield, and it was indeed not that. That was indeed a recharge wand, so oh well. Um, I'm going to drop this, and we'll keep going and going and going and going. Blowgun. A dart shoots at me. This is here. Nah, it's just darts. I like the fact that I got blowguns though. So there, that must have been a kobold was there and he died. And there's now another kobold. And we'll just run down. There's some jackals. I don't want to get anywhere near those. Uh, let's go this way. We'll throw this. And we'll throw this. Poison. Throw him. He was injured, so he probably hit uh, something that hurt him. I can't eat rotten meat. So we're going to go back up here. I'm going to butcher this. And this might be bad, but okay, it was good. Get these darts. Get these darts. Get these darts. That's a dart trap. That's how I got hurt. Come on, him. Ah, he poisoned me. Ah, oh, good and better. Okay, and we'll drop. Jackal Flesh. And kill this guy. Shields is level 2. Awesome. Fighting is level whatever. Evocation is going up for, you know, some reason. What am I using that could be evil? Ah, this. This was evocations. And let's keep going and going and going. Done exploring. Uh, let's go down. This is not going to be a friendly level to be on, but whatever. I'm going to quiver darts. Regular darts. Except for him, him, him. I'm actually pretty tankish for a character. I think it's mostly because of the armor, though, and the shield. There's a Stachios. I don't want to be anywhere near him. Uh... He's got Iron Demon there. Let's go up. Uh, do this, and we'll go here. This is a War Axe. I don't care about Axe at the moment. I should go into uh, this and... <clears throat> Let's see here. What am I training? Yes, I want to have it like that. Okay, so I've got a Stachius on this level. There's some Jackals. Lots of Jackals. A Kobold. Okay, let him get died from poison. I'm just basically hitting him and running away. That's my plan here. It worked pretty well, but I got injured quite a bit, and didn't like it too much. Okay, um, Copa Corps Club, there's some arrows. I've already decided I'm not going to use arrows, haven't I? We're going to stop carrying these around. That's rotting. There's a worm, so we'll throw throwing darts at. Poison it. Didn't stay poisoned for long, but now it's dead anyway, so. There's a way down, there's a dog, there's a gecko. And it looks even sicker. Kill this guy. Butcher him. I don't mind having stuff, you know, attack me like this. It means I'm going to get lots of experience, but uh, it's kind of unsafe to keep being attacked like this, so I have to be careful. Giant Gecko, kill it. Uh, I'm going to run to a statue as soon if I'm to be careful. Let's go this way. 
Okay, he's not there at the moment, so I'm going to go this way. And it looks like we've got basically, you know, an island in the middle of like wall, and the rest is going to be just surrounding it. Okay, we're going to go this way. There's a stash just again, so we're going to run away from him. Okay, we got the kobold. I'll take him. This is now the bad staircase. We'll go to the other staircase. And I will drop this meat that's getting rotten. Not that I really need to, but whatever. Uh, I need just a little bit more experience and then I'll be able to, uh, you know, start quaffing potions safely mostly. There we go. There's a worker ant. That's not going to be fun. Oh, it poisoned me. I'm poisoned again. Makes him sicker. Let's move away. I died. She was a little free. I'm going to take that and be happy. Okay, now I'm going to start uh, quaffing potions to see what they do. I is heal wounds. Awesome. I like those. That's restore abilities. Not really useful because I have sustain abilities. That's degeneration. That sucks. And apparently even with this on, it uh, doesn't help. Yeah, let's do um, this. I'm levitating, so I can't... I'm stealthy, I guess. Uh, let's do this. I'm mighty. Do metallic. I'm confused. We confused. Okay, done. And let's do white potion. That is slowing. Get rid of slowing. Okay, this is taking a while to go away. And we'll do the cyan potion. That's speed. And we'll do orange potion. And that's agility. Awesome. Oh, it was a potion of gain dexterity. I actually gained dexterity from that. That's that is awesome. I'll take that any day. Um, I haven't get eaten anything recently. We're gonna run away from this iguana a little bit. I'm actually faster than it though, so let's uh, abuse my speed a little and kill it. Damn! I was hoping to get. Oh. oh, oh. Okay, um, I'm missing a Stasios now. Uh, okay, he's gonna be deadly. He blinked out of, out of distance, and I'm gonna run away from him. Potentially down the stairs. But we'll just keep going this way. There's an ogre. Okay, that's really lucky for me. I not only escaped Grinder, but I escaped the Ogre. Okay, that, that, um, that's looking really dangerous, that level. I'm going to try the other staircase I've been yet to. And it's up here. Where's the down staircase? It's over here. And there's a vault maybe that way, so let's go this way. There's some bread. Oh, it's a Trog Vault. He's going to die. Flames to rough in the bowels of the wizard. Trog roars with satisfaction. Let's just look at him. I think I've been to this vault array, but... With wild eyes, the wizard frantically mouths words and waves his iron, but he's unable to cast a single spell. So, you know, he's just going to burn alive. Me old Trog killing people. There's, there's Trog, but I can't worship him. Okay, I need to eat something, so we're going to eat bread. And continue on. There's gold on that uh, island there. This is where levitation would be nice to have. I don't have any more though, but it would be nice to have. Um, I blocked a dart. That's kind of cool. There's a trident. There's a dwarven falcon. Eh, my whip is better than their crap. And there's an there up staircase. Let's find out where these go, by the way, just in case I have to run up them. 
this one goes up here, and this one goes up here. I'll go back there that level soon, sooner or later, but for now I'll just safely run away. And we're gonna kill this guy with a blowgun. He looks even sicker, run away. Ow. I hit him, but he hits me. I want to die from the poison. There, dead. So there's his corpse. He's been killed. I'm going to cautiously go back down. Back up. I don't care about all of these, I just want some of them. Heal up. Okay, there's a, there's a vault here, and there's a helmet over there. I'll take that helmet. Now, wear that helmet. Oh, alright, it's cursed. I can't take off the helmet. Um, let's try this and see if it's a remove curse crowd spell. It is remove curse. Awesome. Put this on. Okay, that's a plus one helmet. That gives me one plus one for two, as opposed to uh, just a regular zero plus two. This can only be enchanted up to so far, I think. This can go what up? It's enchanted level resistance, somewhat resistant to acid corrosion. It can't be enchanted further. And it fits else well. So this guy, though, um, it's base level 1. It can maximally be enchanted 2, so I can get this higher. Actually, we'll wear this uh, elven hat just because if I run into, um, uh, what do you call it, this jelly, I'll rather get, cor get corroded over the helmet. There's an adder. We're going to hit him with poison. Run away, equip this, hit him some more. We're gonna drop this, find out what this does. It was a scroll of random uselessness. And uh, let's go this way, find out wherever the knolls might have been. There's the knoll. Hit him. I'm throwing darts at him. That's not what I want to be throwing. Do this. There's a cobalt coming, so I'm going to back up. There's not something I want to be in front of. Um, when did I see this imp from? Whatever, he's out of the way. He looks even sicker. Even sicker, he's going to die. We're going to deal with this guy. He's got the spear, damn it. Ah, that sucks. Now he's just a annoying little runt with a spear. We're actually gonna leave him alone. I'll kill this guy. And come on, get some hits on him. Ah, I hate these guys. Let's uh, I don't quiver. Actually, let's throw this. Throw that. He can pick these up, by the way. So it's kind of dangerous to be throwing stuff at him. But he's already got the spear, so. Ah, uh, he's almost dead. Yes, yes. And we'll throw, I don't know, D's at him? Yes, I got a kill on the imp. We'll pick this up before anyone else can pick that up. And we will continue on, except I'm going to quiver something else. Quiver this. There's still more nulls probably, but Okay, where are these imps coming from? Seriously. Uh he can pick up darts, but I don't really worry about darts as much. Okay, this is gonna be annoying here. Until he get into the corner here or somewhere. Okay, let's charge him. Hopefully get some hits on him. They regenerate fast, imps, but... Okay, he's gone. I'm going to run away. Ah, uh, he's back. Back and forth, back and forth. This is what he is. 
Oh, I killed him finally. Okay, up my strength some more. I feel stronger, I feel clever. So my int actually went up randomly. How nice. And get this. Get this scroll. What does scroll do? Oh, I blew myself up. Okay, we're gonna go here. Yeah, here. And we'll heal up. Keep going. There's a bad zombie, I'll just kill that. Stones. A hound, I don't care about a hound. Uh, let's quiver the darts again. Eat him. Okay, so those gnolls have been in... Okay, it's kobolds, I guess. Close this door, bring it back up. I'll start killing him. Uh, all... Okay, I'm gonna get this, uh, big kobold out. Make him really wounded and die. Ooh, I got lots of experience from that. Okay, we're gonna close this off, because that's a vault, and there's gonna be dangerous guys in there, and I don't like that vault for getting experience early on, because I'm not usually strong enough. We will just continue on. Okay, there's gnolls this way, so let's back off. I will equip this, and fire this, and this, and this. Okay, there's just a, a flail. It's gonna be a knoll somewhere around this way. The knoll moves out of view. Uh, okay, this is gonna be dangerous if I s s try and sit right in there. Again, both hit. Let's do this and this, and he'll look even sicker. The shield skill is really coming up at this point. I mean, um, basically, each time I fire those missiles or the needles, um, I just run away and I don't have to worry about them hitting me because my my ability to block is so high at this point. Or not, it's not high, but it's getting higher and higher as my shields go up. So it's really paying off. And we're going to put back on the whip. Uh, we're actually going to pick up the flail. I might have use for it, so we'll keep it. Uh, we'll drop these. Butcher him. Drop his meat. And partly squirrel, I can't reach any more. Uh, it is an ogre, but all right, time to show you off the needle and run. So hit him. He looks even sicker. We're gonna move him a little bit. That didn't work too well. There he's in sicker. Dead. And he's got an ogre to eat. I'll drop his flesh. It didn't exactly help there too much to shield, but um, it would be nice to block some of his attacks. Let's actually see if he blocked any. I shoot a needle, shoot a needle, shoot a needle. Uh, then I get this, and then he hits me with a spike club, he hits me with a spike club. I actually was prevented from hitting him a couple of times. He hits me with a spike club. So he just hit me and I never blocked him. So I guess I need to get my uh, shield skill higher for good blocking and stuff like that. But oh well. Uh, am I sitting on... Uh... No, we'll go back here and eat one of these. Okay, Ogre's dead. There's a Sky Beast up there. Level 7. I'll take that. Kill the Sky Beast. He's dead. I will take that. Wand finally. Let's test the wand. It will be a wand of flame. That's weak, but it'll be a nice little flame to have. Um, we'll actually train up evocations a little bit, I guess, at this point. 
I don't want to train up the vocations too high, but it is actually one of my best skills for the uh, demigod because unlike all the other skills, I believe it is indeed um Okay, maybe not. Just like everything else is negative one. Only um, invocation is zero. So never mind. It's just this guy's outer stills. Ah. Okay, I've got to think out what I'm going to do here. And there's 15 darts. I don't care about darts. And there's a hippogriff. Um, that's going to hurt if it gets close, but poison it, poison it, poison it, poison it. And we'll melee it a little bit with the... Uh, so I am blocking them quite a bit, so it is happening. And here's his uh, flesh. We'll butcher him. Drop the giant toad. I don't need that anymore. And we'll butcher him. Drop the hippogriff flesh. We're going to heal up. Doan. Okay. Um, we've officially run into Divisa and Doan. And they're going to be no... Uh, he actually sped up the vessel with haste, so I've got to worry about herping him faster now. Let's hit her a couple times. I might actually kill her. She's not too easy to, uh, or hard to kill, but the problem is that after I kill her, and she won't follow me, but I bet if I go down the stairs, I might kill her. It'll just say, uh, oh. But if I go back down, it might say, um, it should actually be noted here. Even though this blow gain is shield significantly slows down my rate of fire, because I'm protected so much, it's less of an issue. I still get, uh, oops, quite a bit of, uh, there we go. So I, sh I shot a few times to get uh, poisoned, and then it try and hit me, but I do more damage. Okay, I didn't block it at all. Okay, I did block it all. One block, and I killed it. So it might have hit me, but wasn't an issue because I just pulverized it. Okay, I want to turn on my auto pickup because it got turned off because of Dolan. Okay, uh, this was not a good area to uh, pop into. Uh, but we're going to stick it and hit this guy. Hit him again. There's an orc warrior even up here, so I'm going to take all these guys up with me. Or just Two guys. Kill a newt. Kill a wizard. I can kill a wizard alone, easily enough. Kill him. And apparently he, someone went invisible again. Okay, that's going to be dangerous to go down to, so we'll go down to the third. You know, I think life just hates me or something, because it's like orcs, orcs, orcs. And this time, if I go up, I'm going to take four of me. So, that seems funner. Up we go. And, uh, at least none of them have scimitars or anything. Kill him. Kill him. And kill him. Okay, that's, uh, chainmail? Okay, we're gonna pick that up. Chainmail is better than scale mail. Scale mail gives me negative three evasion penalty, but, uh, chainmail gives me negative four. All the cost at one extra, um, base armor, but it's is better in, you know, general damage reduction. So put this on. Take this off, finally. I'm going to eat this. And we'll go back down. Okay, I was not very smart. I might die here, but... Yeah, I, this is not a smart idea. I, they all over hover around that staircase, but... I had to go down one of these uh, staircases, so... It was needed to go down one. Okay, time to use um, heal wounds. And I'm going to hit the... This guy first. Ouch! He's hitting me from fire and it's hurting. Okay, get this going. Shield says now seven. I blocked the uh, both those attacks. Ouch! Do this, and then effort to keep alive a little bit longer. Okay, I'm actually might survive here. Um, I managed to cut my way through those enemies there, so now all I've got is this stupid kobold and. That's uh, not good. Um, think, think, think. I could go might and hope I hit him. Or I could use the flame wand and hope, hopefully kill him. Let's try that. I missed him. 
I killed him. And I'm taking the Cobalt, but I took him on and killed him. We'll go up here. I'm just going to heal up. Okay, he's done. If I go down here, there's going to be the warrior, but I can take a warrior, I think. Is he healing or something? Um, I think I could kill him. He's going to probably axe me constantly. This is actually good working to my favor because I can do this now. Uh, uh, fire. 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 He's actually hurting with darts, but that's less of an issue. Do this. Okay, he's dead. He's going to be dead. Okay, so that's a bit of a dangerous situation there that I put myself in. But at least now he's dead. I've got myself uh, split mail, which is even better than uh, chain mail. So we worked our way off the negative five. Two more stat points, and I'll be able to equip my Orcus plate armor. Um, we got a halberd stat now. This is pretty good uh, pull armor weaponry, so I could switch to this or. Well, you know what? I might actually st stick with uh, whips because, um, well, pole arms are great for, I guess, uh, here, let's actually, let's do this. Weapons. Looking through all these, the best um, uh, one hand type weapon are usually swords because you have such a good mix of uh, stuff you can get. And then it's um, usually followed by uh, pole arms, which has, you know, it has less, uh, you know, stuff, but if you can wheel it, it'll be uh, pretty good too. Mace and flails are also okay. They have a nice mix of uh, weapons. They're also also really good strength-based weapons too. But um, the best ones are, of course, Demon Whip and Emu Star. And well, it might be best to stick with Mace and flails. I've got a good Mace and Flail weapon already. The uh, Poison Whip. I don't have any good long swords yet, and halberds are two-handed, so... I'm actually going to start training maces and flails, so actually let's uh, do that now. I'm going to put this on maximum, just to get up. I'll keep training shields because it's obvious I want to get high. The higher shields in, uh, gets the more I block, and the more I block, the safer I am. Um... <clears throat> Let's uh, actually not do this. I'm going to go upstairs. And I'm going to go combat the um, ogre if I can find it. Go this way. There he is. So we'll find him. Hit him. He's even sicker. I'm going to equip this. And kill him. I'm level 8. That is a good trade off for experience. Finding and killing him. We're going to explore down here a little bit more. And before I forget, I actually want to go back to Mercenary. Um, I'm thinking about that uh, that Tengu that's running around. Tengu monster. And it's, uh, it's HD5. So I'm wondering how. Uh, of course, that one's a name one, so maybe it's a little bit stronger. Deck of Battle and Mercenary. It still says it's level 5, so it could be strong, but maybe I can kill it. I want to kill it so I can have, you know, see what's around there. Uh, nothing's this way. The Statues is probably around somewhere, but I'm not going to go looking for him. Or Grinder for that matter, but exploring is nice, so do that. Let's go this way. What's this way? Okuwaro's, uh, right there. His vault. There's Blork the York. Um, he's gonna be dangerous. What's oh, him? Let's not do that. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna hit him with this. Equip the poison whips. Hit him with this. And now he's, uh, dropped his Orcus Great Mace and. I can use diff uh, if I want to clobber stuff, though my shield's obviously better, so I'll stick a bit. And that's pretty much it. I've uh, cleared this level almost. 
Done. Okay, I'll go over. Kill the Cobalt Skeleton. How am I training this, by the way? It's going up fairly fast, okay. Stealth is finally too, I'm dropping that off, for sure. Um, stealth is great and all, but it's not going to be great enough to keep training it. Uh, I've got this flail, but... Do I need the other stuff? Probably not. I'm going to drop this, 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 this. I'm keeping this because I want Evan using it against me. And I'm keeping the plate armor because uh, it might take a while before I find a new one. There's Grinder. I didn't notice him. And now he's going to be annoying. Let's just go back up here. And we will go up. I'm going to try and find a Tango and see how tough it is. And we'll equip this to go with it. Go up here. Galpin shouts. Okay, let's uh, equip this. I'll go after it. There's uh, Zua, and he's still dangerous, but he's not as dangerous as before. Hopefully. Um... I'm going to go like here. He has probably doesn't teleport or anything, but... And that didn't do anything to him, so he didn't get poisoned at all. So we'll go back down. I'll go back up. He is still up here, though, so... Uh, kill this guy. I, I want to try and kill him with... Uh, Poison if possible. And he's right next to me next time, so I can't get away, so. And he's not too strong. Okay. That's still extremely unrewarding, but you know, if I killed him to get rid of him. He's not gonna be worth anything. And I wanna be able to switch around here for anything useful, like this trident or just gold. And it's just worth saying again, it's a durable summon. So if um, I get that to work, I have a good, strong follower that isn't going to uh, abandon me or kill me if it uh, is on my side. Kill that. I'll go down here. Let's go up here. Kill the Hound. I'm actually tempted to go to the Vault here just because I want to pick up experience before going down. and This might be the best place to do it. And I've actually trained up shields quite a bit, but I should be training up some armor too. Um, the more I train up armor, the better it, it will get. Really, and early on, it helps you a lot more. So, you know, we'll do that. I'm going to open this. And we're going to slowly, casually walk through these doors. I don't want to get too many guys on me, so we'll close this door. Wait for them. Don't kill them. There's lots of darts on him. Okay, there's going to be a ton of guys coming at me. And throw this at him. Uh, close the door. Back up. Throw this at him. This at him. Kill him. There's an orc wizard in there too. So there's going to be at least an orc band in there. Uh, there's an orc. Back up, back up, back up. Throw at him, throw at him, throw at him, throw at him. Kill him. Uh, and our kobold, throw at him. Throw at this guy. This guy. Throwing out an orc wizard. That's a little bit more stupid. There, he's dead. Pick up this, pick up this, pick up this, pick up that. Kill this guy. He had an orcish short sword. And continue going this way. Pew pew. That's what this is all about. 
I don't really care too much about it because I've got, you know, the shield blocked most of the crap and... The kobolds aren't exactly weak or, you know, strong. Uh, kill this guy. Back up. This guy. Mason flows level 1, I'll take that. These guys didn't seem to spawn with anything useful, and they're a good experience. Well, they weren't that great experience. Sometimes I've seen worse stuff uh, spawn in these uh, vaults, by the way. I've seen gnolls, and I've seen orcs. Keep this guy this. Take these. There's more stuff in there. Butcher him. There's a null. I'll back up from him. He picks up a club, so he didn't have any weapons. That's good, I guess, for me. Eat that. There's a, another null. I'm getting stronger, at least, I hope. There's some scale mill. That might have been picked up from something I dropped. And there's sling bolts. Pew, pew, pew. No. There's a lot of ordinary darts, and there's some sling bolts. We'll pick those up. Sling bolts might be useful. Okay, I'm getting surrounded by thunder. Uh, let's do nothing. I'm just going to keep running away. Kill this guy. He had gold on him. He's throwing stuff at me. I'm going to charge this guy because he's the most dangerous. Shields is level 8. Kill all these guys. Get that. Keep going. There's a, our halberd. There's an our null. And big kobolds. That's just a regular flail. That's more gold. Kill this guy. Charge him. He has some gold. Oh, he's got something different. He's got darts of frost. Let's run away from him. Okay, right there, whip there. Another. Oh, he's got a halberd, and he's dead. And get this, get that. Kill that, kill this. Okay, go this way. And okay, we cleared it, I think. Lots and lots of stuff here. Uh, I'm going to butcher him just because he'll eat good. Drop that. Probably explore can't reach all places. That's fine. I explore what I could there. There's an ice beast. That's going to be dangerous, but I've got this, so let's hope it works. Boom. I missed it. Boom, I hit it. Boom, I hit it. It's running away. Go darts at. We're gonna go this way. I actually lost it somewhere. Kill that orc. This lone orc, kill this adder. Give me food. Let's go back to the orc corpse. 
There is an orc corpse. And there's the ice beast. Let's kill it. This time I'll be trapped in a corner. Or it'll be killed. That works too. Okay. Finally, let's go down here. And this might be bad because it is where Dolan is, at Avesa. We're going to go back up. He uh, did Corona on me, so I'm visible. And I'll go back up with these guys. I have to pick up someone, and it's going to be these guys, apparently. So um, I don't want to go past this Halberd. We're going to try doing what to this guy. Actually, I'm just going to pick this up. If he wants to throw stuff at me, then, you know, that'll put distance on me and I can hit him again with, uh, the blowgun. Orc is poisoned. Orc war is sicker. There's another kobold. See the kobolds. Uh, I've got to kill this kobold because he's in the way. Where's my whip? Okay, I killed the orc. Ow. Okay, he's dead. Uh, drop this. <coughs> How are you doing for time? It feels like an hour. It has been an hour, so... Uh, let's go back down here. King's near starving. Let's, let's run around a little bit. I want to find stuff like this to eat. Brains. Damn it. Okay, I'm starving. I have to eat something, so it's going to be bread. Let's go back to uh, here then, because... Uh, don't you just hate that? You, you just eat some bread and all of a sudden a corpse like that disappears for you. Okay, um... This is going to be a little bit easier now that I've... Uh... Got some... More stuff to kill. Okay, heal up. We'll go out down. I'm going to kill this priest. Okay, I've got another priest. I've got to go back up. He had a ruined orcish sword. Maybe it's useful. Though he probably hit me quite a few times. So with, if I had a brand, it would have procced. So we'll just drop that. Um, heal up. Drop this. Heal up. We'll go right back down. There's Duvesa again. So they're coming, I guess, over. I'm going to throw this at him. I'm going to go up. We're going to deal with the priest. He's got Trident because, you know, he picked it up. Uh, there's War Moccasin now. I love how I keep getting crap like this. I'm getting hit by stuff, but I killed that and I'm happy. Now I've got that War Moccasin to deal with, though. It's really tricky trying to get down here. Um, let's go over here. I'm going to turn off the exclusion because I think Doan is gone. And we will follow Devesa. And we can go down here. This is nothing. Except gold. Gold's okay, but... I'm tempted to skip this level. But it's kind of stupid just skipping it just because, you know, there's lots of stuff that's really not that worrisome. There's a something I ran into already, so it's not pumping up. Hit it, hit it, kill it. Okay, what's this down here? Ooh, I, I'll take those. All right, what's this down here?
The ossuary? Uh, it's a collapsed entrance, so I can't get in there. It would have been nice if to use it, but I, you know, I didn't find it, and I keep running away. So there's that. Okay, no one's here. I'm gonna grab these. Try and kill this. I got lucky there, and I killed it. And we'll go this way. Speed. There's a potion I've never seen before. I'm blocking a dart, so that's fine. There's the Vesta down there. So they're in that, in that direction, okay, so that is me some planning to uh, just slowly, casually walk around the top like this. Kill the orcs that are left. I'm confused, damn it. Okay, I've got to worry about Dolan and do Vesta. Um, let's go like this. There's a sky beast. Um, grabbing does just for a simple reason that I'm gonna run, and I'm gonna run with um a passion, pretty much. We'll go here. And I'm going to go back up here, I guess. Because, you know, they're not here anymore. There's a quokka. There's a nice way up if I need it. And... There's a rat, there's a goblin. Okay, that seems to be the level. I'm not going to auto explore because it could take me near them, but I've uh, cleared the level. So, you know, wasn't that bad. And that looks like the Ecumical Temple. So awesome, I want to get to that and, you know, use it. Um, up my strength. I'm level 9. That was a core stat, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to be hit, hit by those. Um, okay, I'm wasting time here. We're going to go here. Go down to temple. Linked. I'll just beat this imp in the temple. Killed it. Okay. We're going to explore around. Oh, I forgot to do this. And explore. Okay, so a chemical temple is explored. I'm going to test what these potions do. Glug, glug, glug. That's poison. That's what I was worried about, you know, when it's lower levels, but now I have a lot of health to survive poison. What does this one do? That one was agility, so I get more dexterity. Let's drop off stuff. I want to drop off this. I want to drop off this. This. Um, I'll keep the flail. Drop off. Do I want to drop off the darts? I mean, they're not as useful anymore, but... They are somewhat useful. But yeah, we'll drop off a dagger for sure. And, um... Yeah, let's drop off these darts. I'm mostly picking those up so they can't be used against me. Uh, I've gone quite a bit without running, you know, finding out what uh, this is. I got removed curse, let's just put it on. And with Garden Spirit. Okay, that's actually going to be useful because what it does is, um... Whenever I get attacked, my my magical power will be drained, and because I don't have any magical power for spells, it's not really an issue. Okay, I want to be careful of electric eels. Because, you know, they're everywhere. 
and there's a bit too close there. Frog, a gecko, a bit more experience to the gecko, the frog died. Eat this. Electric eels, I think they can hit you from any position, really. <clears throat> electric eel, bolt of electricity, and what's its range? I have no clue. But uh, they can hit you from afar, and they do quite frequently, so I don't really want to be screwing around them. There's a work rant, I can screw around it, though. Okay, that's uh, my asthma down there, isn't it? Oh, there's an altar to kick you. And a ring. Let's put this one on. Evasion. Okay, I'll take that. And there's another frog. We'll push the frog. I'll eat the frog. Dark trap. There's another temple to Okawaru, apparently. Um, there's also a small zombie, which is an iguana zombie. I don't care about that. Kill these. This. This. And, eh, we're fine. There's a dwarven mace. That could be actually useful. Um... This is good for hitting, uh, you know, stuff that's uh, going to cause acid damage, much like jelly, so I'll keep this just for that reason. Here's a Sky Beast. I kill it. I'll take that kill. I'll eat the giant frog. Um, statues of Orcish Idols tell me that there's a. Uh, going to be, oh, what do you call it, Biog's uh, Orcish Mine or Altar or whatever nearby. We're going to kill him. Okay, I don't want to be anywhere around this stuff, even though, oh, it's Ring of Evasion. I do want that stuff. Orcish Priest shouts. Okay, so that's there. Let's charge him. Okay, so they can hit me even from all the way at the edge of the screen. And I can't really do anything to them. So this won't kill me either. It's mildly wounded, so that does hurt it. Lightly wounded. Um, let's try it one more time. I killed that one. I killed that one. I'm coming up here only for the reason of getting... This and that. I'm actually going to stay here. And slowly move away. I'm just going to drop this. Kill it. Let's go put it down to Okra's altar and heal up. And I, I'll note that now I've got uh, two rings of evasion, so I'll put this over this, and I've got, you know, lots of evasion. That'll help me a little bit for dodging purposes, and okay, drop that. I don't really need sustainability, basically, is what I'm getting at here. It's nice, but not needed, so go up here. Is the goldfish. Those are going to be annoying if I have to go up there for the orcish mines. But, oh, this guy's got the core staff. He's got to die. Actually, let's go up this way. I'll fight him in the temple. So I can't pick it up again. There. Done. The core staff. Let's go up this way. Ah, that won't work. This uh, vault is pretty much taking up most of the floor, so I'm so stuck with uh, ex exploration. There's a orc. 
We'll use him. That make me nauseous, but whatever. More orcs. Um, for safety purposes, we'll run away. Well, I, you know, slowly kill them. Throw this at him. Mason flows a little free. There's an iguana. Ooh, ooh, he had a dagger of electro electrocution of all things. Okay, that would have really hurt if it hit me. I'm not sure if um, it did hit me, but... Um, page up. Uh, orc wizard. Okay, I closely missed the Orc Wizard, blah blah. Dork hits used to ruin Orcish Dagger. Okay, the Orc hits you with a ruined Orcish Dagger, you are electrocuted. You blocked the Orc's attack, so. Um, I guess I blocked his attack of electrocution, but it showed me that it was, you know, going to electrocute me, so. Ha 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 on him, I guess. Needle trap. Awesome. This could be a good way to get uh, needles. Right after I uh, heal up. Eh. Uh, whatever. Heal up. And that's rotting now. Kill him. There's no orc. That'll work. Uh, he's got just stuff. That wasn't a corpse, sadly. There's an adder, that'll make good food. Uh, yes. Yes, he uh, hits me with that. Killed the hound. Oh, it burned my scrolls, bastard. And do this. Um, no. Butcher that. Okay, let's continue on. I've actually noticed the time. It's, you know, getting close to one hour and three minutes. Um, it's not a bad thing, I guess. I want back off that eel. Okay, I don't want to be near that eel. So we'll come this way. There's a spell book and an ice beast. Um, let's see. I actually pull out the flail to deal with the. Uh... Oh, there's eels. And I'll throw this at him. Hopefully this does a lot of damage. Ah, it's hit me of... Wait, do. He killed my heal freeze wound, damn it. I need that for healing myself. Okay, let's see here. I've managed to, um... Survive pretty well. I'm just going to try something. We're going to, uh... What the? Oh, it's just seeking themselves. Uh, I'm going to try poisoning this guy. It's going to waste my darts, but... It might kill him. Bit more experience, I'll take that. There's another orc, we'll kill him. And I'll kill this guy too. These guys realize something. These orcish isles are actually in the way. So, uh, 
the eels can't do anything to me. They can, you know, sit there and I'll just kill the big fish. Okay, here's the big thing. I want to close to that book. And get, okay, and it's a book of, uh, looks like summonings. Book of Beasts. So it's got uh, some butterflies that can be useful, sticks of snakes, call of canine familiar, ice form, ice beast, and hydra. Lots of useful stuff in there. Um, I could tr start training it real soon, I guess, but let's just see what I can memorize. I can't memorize anything because, uh, well, I can't memorize anything. I should be able to memorize something. Oh, right. Uh, because I'm in such heavy armor, I can't exactly memorize anything. So it sort of defeats the purpose. But we'll keep my heavy armor on just because that's what I'm going to go for right now. Damn it, there's another eel there. Uh, huh. Maybe I want to deal with this guy. I'm going to try from Ow. Okay, killed him. It's not really worth killing those eels like that, by the way, so don't do what I just did there. If you're following me along. Okay, I'm going to throw darts at this guy just to kill him. And he will die. Or run away. Actually ran away, I think. Okay, I'm just going to run away from, away from that guy. He's, uh... Got me when I'm a little bit low on health. This guy. There's an ogre in there. Killed him. Awesome. I got armor 4. Shields 10. I'm actually going to turn this down to plus. I'll keep missing flails on high. Throw a dart at the orc. They're all coming at me, so that's fine. Let's throw this at him. They're all coming to play. Eh. We're back off. Kill this guy. Yes. There, eat this guy. Drop this off. This might be asking for it going after this goldfish like this, but... Yeah, that's, that's definitely asking for it. Um... That could zap me as I walk away. There's the yogurt, and I'm hurt now, so I have to run away from it. And this is gonna get picked up. There's another needle that I didn't know about. Orc skeleton. And a priest. Okay, I'm just going to heal up. As you can see, you're taking huge risks is going, being near the water with uh, those things. Electric heals. Um, okay, that should be hurt enough. I killed it. Another one dead. This 
Uh, I'm poisoned. Heal up. Nope, kill this guy. He didn't drop anything. Oh, a scorpion. Eh, whatever. He's dead. There's another scorpion. Ogre's dead. Scorpion is, uh, dead. I'm poisoned yet again. There's a sling. I'll pick up the sling because it could be useful. Orcish flail. This guy. I'm gonna go this way so he runs away. Damn it, no food for him. Maybe food for him? Yes! Eh, uh, orc. But yeah, this is pretty much why vaults are kind of dangerous early on. And you should be messing like I have. I'm having to carefully make sure I don't get killed so much. And now I've got this guy to worry about. Killed him. Awesome. Yeah. There's a reef. Yeah, I want to do what with this guy? Let's put this on. Come on, die. There we go, my synth level 4. These guys are throwing darts at die, throwing at them. Uh, let's see the meat ration here. And another one of these guys. At this point, my uh, HP is getting high enough that I don't really care as much. If um, <clears throat> if I you know run into guys that hurt me a lot because I can take the hits now, I can take my lumps basically, and uh, so I was doing pretty well to level me up. What does this halberd do? Do you hit me many times of it? I just kept blocking it, so no idea what it does. Um, we're gonna run away here. He smited me. Now he can't find me. I can take my lumps. Okay. Both of them are dead. Let's get into this place. And it was indeed the Orcish Mine entrance. And there's more priests beyond walls, of all things. Um, what do I want to do with them? Leave them alone. I don't have to go here now. But at least now I've got it pretty much cleared if I want to. And there should be more fish. Basilisk. That's a little bit more dangerous than the regular stuff when fighting. Okay. So, you know, um, uh, arrow hits me. Drop this over here to discourage people picking it up. I hope that uh, help works, by the way. And, um, well, I guess I'm doing fine. Um, at this point, I cleared level 7, which had the uh, chemical temple on it and the orchestra mines entrance on it, so I've got two branches ready 
to be going down to. Uh, I'm going to quickly do this and this for the simple reason that I'm going to try memorizing stuff. Selling butterflies, I'll want, so... This is all going to be really difficult, by the way. Some butterflies, yes. Okay, got my first spell. Um, call canine familiar. I think the only re re really weak one here is summon hydro because uh, it only lasts for a short time, and that you know it's pretty specific about it. Hydra. Oops. Well, I can do this. Um, is a much short short duration is some. <clears throat> summon Ice Beast, and if you really want a good uh, spell, then there's better ones like Summon Dragon. So I'm probably not going to worry about it too much, but I do want to get uh, Summon Ice Beast and Ice Form and Summon K9, so those are good ones to get. Uh, 6 to 6 is really good, I guess. Makes me makes lots of snakes if you use it right. Um, but uh, I'm just going to stick with uh, dropping this off for now. I'll worry about spellcasting later. I'm not really caring about it too much. Let's probably turn that off for now. My main focus right now will just be to train up Mason, flails, fighting, armor, and shields until I get them high enough that. They're less of a burden to me. If I get, like, I think armor and fi shield 15, that's a pretty high number. I should be pretty happy with that. And... I think we're done with this level, so... Uh, I'm going to call it uh, done for here. I managed to survive really, really long with this um, uh, demigod wanderer. So not only was demigods hard for me, but wanderers even harder, and... Because they're randomized, and uh, now I'm uh, getting pretty pretty well along. Uh, I'm a Fuchsia to Hoplite, because, uh, you know, shields are really high, so that's my best skill. And uh, it'll be funny if I actually uh, get pretty far with this character, because this is not the character I expected to do well on, and I'm doing well on it. Um, I guess that's it. Take care. I'll see you next time. And I'll note that these episodes uh, are going to be um, probably a little bit uh, stagnated a little bit soon. I'm going to be working at Canada Post, and uh, you're seeing this one because I have time to do it, but uh, no guarantees you'll be seeing them in the weekdays like you have for the past while I've been doing this.